A major insurer has decided that it will no longer reimburse or cover the cost of a popular painkiller. Could this be a trend in which insurance companies, not doctors, decide what medicine you use? Money editor John Delano takes a closer look. In January, the insurer Cigna will no longer reimburse customers for the purchase of most OxyContin prescriptions, a popular painkiller. Pittsburgh isn't really a market that's uh, a huge Cigna market. Uh, we're dominated by Highmark and UPMC, as everyone's familiar with. But we do have, especially in the Medicare Part D, a number of Cigna customers. Experts say insurance companies are increasingly dictating medical prescriptions. Insurance companies will say that you can't order this drug or that drug, and it's becoming increasingly common. Dr. Wally Jalad at Pitt Center for Pharmaceutical Policy and Prescribing says more insurers will follow Cigna's example with a consequence to patients. It does limit um, the ability of the doctors to decide which drug someone should be on, um, or at least it makes it more difficult for those doctors to do so because they have to jump through some hoops. And in some cases, you know, that can be good. In some cases, that can be bad. The key issue is the motivation, the right one, in other words, what's best for the patient, or is the motivation the wrong one, which is what's best for our bottom line. Along with this change comes word CVS will only fill seven days of opioid painkillers, no matter what the doctor orders. Spartan pharmacy owner and pharmacist Adam Rice says this inconveniences patients. Can you imagine if your grandmother, who's dealing with cancer pain, comes in with her prescription and is only told that she can get seven days worth of the medicine. No word from Rite Aid, Walgreens, or other retail drug chains. While CVS's unilateral policy to limit opioid prescription drugs to just seven pills may or may not be followed by other drug companies, what is clear is that the crisis is such that the government could very well step in. The current administration in Washington is looking into this finally. I think probably the writing is on the wall. John Delano, KDKA TV News.